All right, what's up guys? So in the last vlog that I still haven't even had time to look over and edit, um, I said I was gonna be starting on the bash bar. So today, what we're gonna be doing is, I took it off, but I put it back on to do some measurements. And we're going to be cutting this piece up right here of an inch, inch pipe and welding it on. I'm most likely gonna have it kind of at an angle out here going into the middle. I don't have my front bumper because it's out at Aeroflow so I'm gonna kind of ballpark it and see hopefully you know that it's gonna fit in between the grill and hopefully I won't have any problems fitting it into the grill but um yeah we're gonna go ahead and try it i mean if not the worst thing that i could do is just chop it up and just paint over it because as you can see no one you can't you can't even see this part of the bash bar so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna prep it get all this nice and clean just pretty much all the oxidized and rusted part get it all nice and clean then cut this up i might put one in the middle but I don't know, we'll see. Then I also bought this paint. It's the only it's the closest thing I can get to the roll cage. I really don't care if it's matching or not. I just kind of wanted something to pop through the grill. And I'm pretty sure this will. As you can see, it's, it looks similar to it until you actually like look into it and you see that it is different. But fuck it, you're not going to be able to see you know the big brake kit or the roll cage with it so we'll try it out if it doesn't like if i don't like it i could always paint a different color so yeah so i'm personally not going to be the one welding it only because my dad is a metal fabricator and knowing me if i do it i'm most likely one gonna fuck up the measurements and they're probably gonna be off-centered or crooked and two my welding is not the best so if I were to do I'm gonna have a bunch of bugger welds so I'd rather have it look somewhat decent even though you're not gonna see it I'd rather have him do it and do it properly than me and fuck it up because I'll always fuck it up but yeah I'll keep you guys I'll keep you guys updated and yeah let's go ahead and start by prepping it and if I didn't tell you because last time you saw the car I only had the I don't even know if I showed you the car with the bumper missing but like I said bumper is at Aeroflow getting some custom work done to it very similar to what I had on the last car and the hood is at uh, Coachcraft which is down the street uh, from my house and they're gonna be doing the same hood vents that I had before but the only thing with that is uh, I don't know if I want to maybe change them put them a little bit lower or higher because last time When I did do it, it was a little bit too high. So I'm probably gonna have a little bit lower I need to get this rewired properly because this fuse always blows out and so that I could clean this up so I could put my carbon fiber cover on there and the carbon fiber on the fuse box and then I need to I'm going to try to find, I know JDM Password, even though they're discontinued, I know they do have covers for this right here for my ABS and for uh, the struts at the top. So if anyone's selling them, let me know because I'll buy them. If not, you know, I'll try to find them, but I highly doubt it. If it's faded, because I know that carbon fade is really easy, if it's a bad condition or whatever, I don't care. I'm probably going to get them re-cleared. So hit your boy up if you need, if you want to sell them. But yeah, alright, let's get to it. Alright, so I'm using 150. It's honestly the only thing I found here, so I'm just going to work, I'm going to work with it. Alright, so, I mean, it wasn't too bad, so I got most of it off. Let me try not to hit the truck. But, yeah, pretty much sanded everything down. 
took out all the rust, took out most of the paint so we could weld it, make it nice and smooth. So yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll get started on it right now. So I couldn't really talk or anything like that, so it's most likely gonna be all cinematics, but we finished it up. Let me go ahead and show you guys how it's gonna look. So, very simple, it's just adding, you know, an upside down V. Uh, the point of just doing this was because, like I said, four, you can't see the crash bar at all. And I've seen a lot of uh, front mount intercoolers, you know, doing that where it kind of shows through the grill. So once I get my bumper back, hopefully I don't have any problems because if I do, I'm probably going to have to chop it off. But the only thing you're going to be able to see is about like this section right here and then this section right there. Uh, this is, should be where the grill is, so I'm, I'm hoping that's where it's at, but we'll go ahead and see. So I'm going to go ahead and get it primed, hopefully do a couple layers of paint, and we'll see how it goes. All right, so this is day two of the bash bar install again. Um, so like I said yesterday, uh, we added this piece right here. I mean, nothing crazy. Uh, Mobile wall specialists had made this uh, just to kind of support and to protect the front, uh, front mount intercooler. And I just wanted to make it look cool. I mean, ideally, it's not gonna do anything. The only purpose is just to show this. And um, yeah, hopefully I measure, we put it right smack in the middle so it lines up with this little tab right here, which should be the middle. Um, and yeah, so tomorrow or Monday, Monday or Tuesday when I do pick up the front bumper. One, I'm hoping it's, it's gonna fit. I, I'm pretty sure it will, but I don't know. I know a lot of people who do have a front mount intercooler usually say that they do have to cut or adjust uh, the bumper when putting the bash bar in there. So we'll go ahead and see. I'm praying it does, because if not, I'm most likely just gonna have to chop it off. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. The paint looks decent on camera, but kind of has that neon color on camera but in person it's kind of a little bit more of a matte um, I put about three coats of uh, spray paint on here I mean it came out okay for being you know a spray paint job rather than of course getting it powder coated but like I said it's just a quick fix nothing crazy you're not gonna see it uh, maybe in the future I'll get it color matched to the cage but since I don't have the bumper to test fit it, I didn't want to go full on, get it all powder coated and all that just in case it didn't fit. So, yeah. 
Ho hopefully I'll put it on soon, but let me know what you think. You think it's whack? You think it looks cool? I don't know. Maybe you guys will do it. Who knows? Uh, I'm just praying it fits. But yeah, pretty simple install. Like I said, I didn't do the welds because knowing me, I will fuck it up. But um, yeah, huge, huge thanks to my pops. He's the one who just knocked it out real quick. Like I said, most of it's gonna be cinematic because we did have music playing in the background. And even though I don't care if it gets copyrighted or not, who cares, you know? So most of it is gonna be muted. But other than that, like I said, should be getting the front bumper in early next week and I'm praying the hood gets it done. I told the shop that they could take their time on it because I know they're busy, so if they can knock it out in a week, great. You know, all they have to do is cut the holes, paste on the the vents, mold it on there, and then respray the bump the hood. But I don't know. Hopefully it'll be done next week, if not probably a week or so, and then I'll finally get started on the wrap so like I said it's literally been sitting here since the last video or you know a couple of videos before that from when I actually took my car to get detailed and that was about two months ago so I know I've been sitting on it but we've been crazy busy with work and I just haven't really had time so I'm hoping after this project that we have this coming week after that we'll get like about a week break or so so I'm hoping to wrap it in that time if not, I'm just going to be putting in, doing section by section. Alright, what's up guys? So, finally have the bumper back. Um, right here, as you can see, the splitter and my custom end plates right here are not on. They're, they're all right here. Um, it's a very similar design of what I had last time. So, it's going to go... Uh, this is for this side. It's pretty much gonna go on that corner over there. Let's see if I can do it like that. And hopefully, if everything goes well, it should sit flush um, with this part right here. So obviously, when it goes up from the splitter, it's gonna be sticking out a little bit, and by the time it gets up here, it should be flush. So. Hopefully this weekend I could set some time aside to go do it. Um, I have my friend Danny and Carl. Danny hasn't responded yet because he's at work, but Carl said he's down to help me. So basically all I have to do is just drill a couple holes and mount it up like any other splitter. But uh, that's not what this video is for. So I'm most likely going to make another one. Hopefully it won't take, you know, a couple months like I always do. I'll try to keep it quicker for you guys, but... Yeah, let's go ahead and get this started and let's hope that the bash bar does not hit the grill. I don't think it will, but if it does, then fuck it. Guess I'll have to start over again, so we'll see. So looking at it now, I should have probably probably have made it a lot bigger, but fuck it. I mean, for it fitting, not bad. I mean, ideally, you can't really see it, but once you go up close and the sun's already starting to set, but I'll probably end up changing out the grill, but you could somewhat see it. Um, I wish I would have had the bumper when I was actually fitting it and, and kind of measuring it because like I said before we were ballparking it so the peak ends right at the top right here or pretty much in the middle but if I would have known I would have probably have done like maybe another one from right here to the end 
or maybe like an X even. But I mean, like I said, for kind of just ballpark measuring it, it didn't come out bad. Did I think it was gonna blend in that much? No, I thought it was gonna stand out because it was bright neon. But who knows, maybe it'll stand out in the day when it's a lot brighter. But I don't know, let me know what you think. I think it's cool, I think it's whack. I think I should have probably, I've got it powder coated instead of spray painted. I don't know, let me know. Do you think I should maybe add these little side pieces right here? Or should I just replace the grill? If I replace the grill, I think it's gonna look a little weird because uh, you're just gonna see the point ending right here instead of all the way up here, but I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Most likely the only one's gonna comment is Christian. Shout out to you, my boy, again. I still need to take the rear diffuser off for you. Hopefully I'll be able to do it this weekend. And I know I've been saying I'm gonna custom, or I'm gonna um, mock up the rear diffuser. I really need to do that. I've just been lazy. Like I said, now that it gets, you know, dark at 5 p.m., it's, it's kind of not annoying, but it just, it, there's no motivation for me because if I had done it earlier on in the day, and been done before sunset, I would have loved to go shoot, stuff like that, but whatever, we'll see. But on that note, I'll see you in the next vlog. I'm gonna be doing another one pretty soon because I got a surprise with the wrap. Um, yeah, I got something coming up with that, got some plans, and hopefully everything works out, and hopefully the car will be done. I know. I didn't say I was going to do anything to it, but in my opinion, I just want the car to sit how I envisioned it on the WRX, so I'll probably end up changing it up, you know, making it look a lot cleaner, because a lot of people might not like the custom end plate on the STI rather than the WRX, you know? It might not look good with the wide body kit, it might not look good with the bumper, but I just want to get it all done because I want to see what I personally envisioned on my WRX, on everything, what I wanted to do, so... I'm thankful I could do it on the STI. I'm just going to do it. Probably run it for a couple months. If I don't like it, I'm going to probably take off the splitter. Uh, if the diffuser doesn't fail, I'll probably get another diffuser. But, I don't know. Hopefully it's done. I'm hoping the the hood is done in the next couple of days. The guy was supposed to call me, but he didn't call me today. So, I'll probably pop in tomorrow or the day after to see uh, where they're at, where they're at with their progress. But, till the next vlog, I'll see you guys later. Uh, yeah. Comment down below what you think uh, I should do with the bash bar. Peace.